Well, the U.S. is warning Israel to let more humanitarian aid into Gaza or face the consequences. In a letter to Israeli leaders, the Biden administration warns it could cut off military aid if the situation doesn't improve soon. Rami Innocencio has the details. The fight for food is growing across Gaza, with hundreds of thousands of Palestinian civilians desperate for help. The U.S. says Israel slowed or stopped almost 90 percent of aid across the tiny enclave last month as its military campaign rages on. Everything is stacked against us at this point. It's an absolute horror day after day. The Israel Defense Forces released video showing aid trucks rolling into northern Gaza Wednesday, saying they are filled with food, water, medical supplies, and shelter equipment. That move may be in response to that forceful letter Washington sent Israeli leaders here in Tel Aviv just a few days ago, setting an ultimatum. Let at least 350 trucks into Gaza every day or risk losing U.S. military aid. It's possible to get humanitarian assistance into Gaza. We know it can be done. We know that the various logistical and bureaucratic obstacles can be surmounted. Humanitarian groups say aid is at its lowest level in months, with dire shortages of fuel, medications, and blood for hospitals. Israel's bombing raids have forced the closure of medical centers, shelters, and even bakeries. U.S. officials say Israel has one month to lift restrictions and improve the humanitarian situation or risk losing weapons from their biggest ally and supplier. And the U.S. is by far the biggest provider of arms to Israel. Israel's military has relied heavily on American-supplied aircraft, guided bombs and missiles to fight the war against Hamas in Gaza over the past year.